We're going to look at the Google Docs account of a secondary student to see what it looks like with the new folder structure created by Teacher Dashboard. What you're going to see at first if you're a student or what a teacher should be aware of is that the student now has a folder for each of the classes they are taking. Now this is the account for a high school student so in this case this student, if you look on the left hand side under My Collections, has a folder for AP Biology, AP World History, one for Child Psychology, Comparative Religions, English, and Pre-Calculus. And it's mixed in with a few other folders created by the student themselves. Then if you look down below that, there are collections shared with me. And this means these are folders that were set up and shared by somebody else with this student. These are actually duplicates of the folders that are seen up here above. And again, there's an AP Biology, World History, uh, Psychology, Comparative Religions, English, and Pre-Calculus. These shared folders down here are actually a mistake will be cleaned up uh, in the future. These are duplicates of folders that are in each one of these that I'll talk about in a second. So what a student sees is the folders up here above in their collections and actually they can kind of hide these and these would be folders in which they would turn work into their teacher. So they'd have a document that they were working on for example um, if I were to take this Ecuador document which was a AP biology assignment I could take that drag it over and turn it into AP biology and release. And If I were to click on that folder it would show that I've turned this document in. Now as a student, in each of these subject folders, there are also two other folders, one called collaboration files and one called shared files. These are folders used by the teacher to distribute documents to the students. For example, if a teacher places a document into the shared file folder, then the document is shared with all the students in the class and the students have view rights to that document. That means when they open it, they can't edit the document, they can simply view the document. So let's look at an example. So in this case, a file was placed into the AP World History folder. And by the way, this has nothing to do with um, AP World History, just a sample that I've set up. So the student would come to this document and they could open the document. Now when they open it, you'll look at the top menu and you'll see that they have a few menu items but they have no tools by which that they can edit this document. So a teacher who wants to distribute a document to students but not have them be able to edit it as a group would place it in the shared folder. A student on the other hand can open this document, their copy of the document, they can go to file and they can say make a copy. When they say make a copy, that means they are getting a copy of the document that will be just theirs and they will have edit rights to that document. So in this way a teacher can share a question here or a worksheet that they want the students to complete. The students can save a copy of it and as soon as they save a copy of it you'll notice that it says up here for the name of the document copy of what do you want, what do you know and now you'll notice that they have all the editing tools necessary and they can go in and fill out this document. One of the first things that a student is going to want to do is change the name of that document so that it doesn't say a copy of, but maybe says um, has their last name and first initial. They click OK and so now the document has a name. They would do their work and when they actually close this document and go back to um, all their documents, then they can um, end up working on that. So in this case, if I go back to my documents, um, I have this document now that's mine. I also have the original one that's a view only document. So as a student, I can complete this work and then simply drag it into the AP World History folder and turn it in. Even if I haven't completed the work, some teachers may choose to have students turn their work in and then through Teacher Dashboard, which you'll see in another video, they can monitor the work that the students are doing 
and tell how much work they've completed over a period of time or add their comments as a student is working on a piece of uh, or working on an assignment. So now if I look in the AP folder, I see that, that I, the student, have turned this assignment in to the world history. And when we look at it from the teacher's perspective in Teacher Dashboard, you'll note that this assignment is there. So let's take a look at the other folder that's there called the collaboration files. Again, shared file means that a file put in there by the teacher is shared with all students with view only properties. In the collaboration files, a file that's put into this folder by the teacher is shared with all students, but all students have editing rights to this document. It's a situation that would be less used by a teacher because there are rare cases where you might want all 30 students editing the same document at the same time. So as a student now, if I open up this document and look at it, you'll notice that I have editing rights to this document and all the students who open it can edit it. So this is an example of a way that a teacher could provide a document and say in one creative sentence decide what she is thinking. Each student would then click below this and enter or type in their sentence and you would see sentences from all 30 students in the same document. A teacher could actually put this up on the screen live, distribute the document to the students, the students would be on computers, they would be typing the sentences in and as they were doing that, you would see the sentences appear up on the screen. So this could be a case where you could distribute a document where you want all 30 students to comment on something in the same document. Not something that probably will happen a great deal, but it is something that is possible and could be a creative way of working with a single document with multiple editors. So that's an explanation of these two folders. And a student has those two folders in each of their classes because their teachers have those tools by which to distribute documents to their students. The students, in turn, turn their documents into the main folder for each of their classes. One final thing to cover here, which is that in Google Docs, you have a home page and you have an all items page. In this current situation, they both look the same. One of the issues is that all these folders that have been created show both in the home page and also show in the all items page. In the home page, you can edit what you see here. And one of the things that students will want to do, and definitely teachers will want to do, in their Google Docs is hide all these folders that have been created by Teacher Dashboard in their home screen so they only see the documents and things that they have created. One way to do that, or the way to do that, is to check the boxes for all these folders that have been set up. And then once all these folders have been checked, what you can do is you can right click off to the side and you can say don't show in home and as soon as you do that what happens is those folders disappear from the home screen and this will just take a second for it to hide all these folders and what's left are just the documents that the student has created and in a teacher account which you'll see in another video you can hide which are even more folders that have been set up so that you're not seeing those in your home screen. There is no way to hide those folders that have been set up in the all items um, window. This by just the name all items shows everything associated with your Google Docs account. But what you really want to work out is your home page where you can hide things that you no longer need to see. The same applies that if you have documents that are from a long time ago that you're no longer working with or from a previous school year, a student could hide those documents on their home page because they're not going to be using them anymore, keeping their home page fairly clean and focused on the things that they're currently working on. So that gives you kind of a quick overview of Google Docs from the student's perspective, what they will see 
with the folders and structures set up for by teacher dashboard so that they have a means by which to get documents from their teachers and also turn documents in to their teachers and then we'll have other videos that show you what it looks like in teacher dashboard as well as what it looks like um, in the teacher documents Google Docs with their folders and how they work with students in that environment so with that that kind of brings us to an end of what the student view of Google Docs is after Teacher Dashboard has been set up.